Greetings from the night one time, Alexander William Erickson. I feel that the concept of queens on earth is best stated by the star of Men in Black International, the female lead, when she was asked if she was a queen, she stated in the sense that every woman on earth is a queen. Yes, I am a queen. And then she became a queen of this tiny people. And it was a very engaging story. I'm involved somehow with a rig known as Queen Application. And when we introduced the idea of raising queens under the duress of captivity in the 70s, we had something called a wardrobe. And ultimately, the wardrobe is a box within the queen's closet or her sitting room where her people can place items, property, documents, equipment. And this is how a queen would know that she's a queen. And some queen's wardrobes are actually machines. They're actually what you would call a queen's closet. You have the wardrobe. Sometimes there's property inside of it. Sometimes there's documents inside of it, etc. Sometimes there's people in the room waiting to talk to you about your wardrobe. Sometimes the closet is something that you actually walk into and get processed by the machine to a, a, a different uh, physical appearance or fixing any ailments that you might have, right? Not necessarily a med bed, but it, a, a distant third to med bed technology. Certainly there's something in between, but this is sort of the, you know, the introduction of that level of tech. And this was in the 70s and the 80s. And women, a long time ago, decided that a glass screen mobile phone was all a woman would need to be a queen and live a very, very long life. Meaning is if a queen has a, has a glass screen communication device, she should be able to profit enough with that glass screen device to live a very, very long life, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And it was this whole theory. And then we released a product called WhatsApp. And from that point of origin, we can track women evolving as ruthless, horrible, terrible spies, claiming their rights of power through a jihadist war inspired by law enforcement involving increasing their sex body count partner numbers to horrible echelons of 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 sexual body partners in a span of only two or three decades. And so what I'm here to tell you is I'm, I'm wrapping up. I doubt I will ever return to addressing the rig known as queen application. But I want all the ladies to know, facts certain, you have a mobile phone, you have WhatsApp, and you can claim that WhatsApp is encrypted all you want. At the end of the day, what women decided is they have a mobile phone and who they are as a person is ultimately defined by what they have done with that mobile phone device. That is their character makeup. And so the only way a woman could ever achieve an elite wardrobe from my operation would be by winning, achieving victory through the use of the mobile phone. And all the women that I have written to, their mobile phone is a dark, 
frightening, sad, pathetic place that screams, I need to be incarcerated and removed from society. And so nobody, not me, not my enemy, no third party, will ever provide a woman preternatural DNA-laced access to a machine she could identify as a wardrobe, such as a mainframe inside of a library or a mainframe inside of a train station or a mainframe three miles underground in the middle of New Mexico. Sure, a woman might be able to gain access to such equipment, but the concept that a woman is going to be provided DNA-laced ownership over an exotic in-ground piece of property built upon the fact that she has the core elements of control systems built within her wardrobe that rests inside her closet is gone. No longer exists. The concept that Sasha Gray would travel with me to Venice and work with me in Venice and over time progress into a gang leader in control of portions of the water facilities that I build in Venice. Gone. Does not exist. Would never happen. And any chance women have of stabilizing their destruction and advancing and evolving into people that are welcome inside of mainframes and people that get to participate in cool stuff. It's about fixing your reputation that you built on your mobile phone device. Nobody cares that you think WhatsApp has encrypted what you have said. You said it, you meant it, you went to war to prove that's what you meant. You did it in the dark. We have evidence against you and we believe you are not worth knowing. You are not worth touching. And we want you to get as far away from all the decent and respectable people on earth. It, it, just go and hide. Because you're sitting there saying, well, women don't fix their reputation. We just keep going. Well, honey.